Okay. 50 things to laser engrave and cut 2025. Okay. Oh, and the inappropriate. All right. I got a lot to do. All right. I do this in 10 minutes because I want to do it in 10 minutes. What about golf tags? Laser engraved golf tags. You got to know someone that golfs. Now, these number coins are awesome for kids that want to learn their numbers. They go in a little bag. You could have these at your craft fair. You could do these for gifts for any type of holiday all year around. You know what's really cool about the save the date is that it's effective. The people do come more if you save, save the date. But what if you put it on a really cool piece of ply and it was just gorgeous instead of a crappy piece of paper? Even when they got it, they felt that weight. Now, when you have a child, that's pretty significant. What about sending the announcement out in a cool new way besides the boring looking paper? Okay, unfortunately, I lost my sweet pup Murphy and I wanted some way to memorialize him. So this isn't him, but I went ahead and did some cool frame for that. And I gave it out to my kids because it was unbelievably sad to lose a dog. So guarding is coming up, believe it or not. We're past the last long day of the longest day of the year in December. So now what about garden stakes that are acrylic? Just went traveling and the fact of the matter is I couldn't find my bag. My kids couldn't find it and I laser cut. And Why didn't I have a laser, cool laser tag that was painted? Not just laser wood, actually painted. So making cookies with family or whatever else is unbelievable, cool experience, the smell, whether or not you're gluten or whatever. The fact of the matter is making molds for cookies is just a really cool idea. You can come up with your own, make Star Wars ones. It's all good. If you love design as much as I am, make a cool cookie mold press. So rubber stamps are really cool. The fact that you can actually stamp anything, vector art, that's becoming really popular with laser. A lot of people don't understand you have to paint it and you separate the pieces and then put it back together. But you, if get your artist game on and make really cool art. This is a bank where you can actually make a shape of multiple layers and then put a piece of clear acrylic on the top. And it's just a bank where you can see the money build up. It's something for kids or just yourself if you're saving for a vacation. If you have someone that has hair, you know, why don't we get a cool little brush that has the engraving on it and it has a really cool name. It just is a gift. Even if they don't use a wood brush, please add some maybe maple oil or some, a walnut oil to the maple, make it look really cool. So if you're having a baby and you want an announcement, maybe you give it to a spouse or a partner or another parent, just announcement for that would be just really awesome. Laser cut jewelry, I really want to get into acrylic jewelry, but making it out and staining it out of wood is just really something that's small and you can make a lot of blocks. So what if you made these blocks, but you added the name, like a chain of the name or made a really cool thing for that. I have a laser engraved jig that I put in, that I 3D print that puts in my laser and it lasers all all these perfectly so check that out okay so with spring coming up what about pressing flowers in a really cool way this would be a gift and you would monogram it but if you know someone that presses flowers in there that is something that may they may really really enjoy usb sticks get lost all of the time people think that they're the same just same with luggage you could make a monogram usb stick so you can also do these tags for your dogs on top of the collars you can actually set up a jig and laser out everything on the collar so they don't have that dangling tag. So again, spring's coming up, believe it or not, it is laser engraving. The granite is something so powerful in this whole field is making this potential garden sign. Weddings are gonna be coming up this spring, getting ready to have custom napkin holders. I have um, some other stuff coming up, coasters and placeholders, but I really like this acrylic napkin holder. Games, what if you came up with your own game? Not just made someone else's game, but came up with something really fun and exciting that's never been done before. And of course, this is the thing that people are always missing. You have to learn how to paint your laser items. This is the uh, the placeholder or the table holder. So let's say that you have a wedding coming up and you would charge per table. You could have these ready and just start advertising for that right now. You just go out in the woods, chop off a log, laser the table number on it. Patch hats are really cool. Laser patch hats are just becoming the thing right now. People have a whole business with laser patch hats. You kind of let them do it right. I personally like the thread. 
If you have mom's favorite recipe and you want to preserve that, maybe put them on cards or plywood instead of the crappy little paper that are there. So also for flowers, let's say that you don't like the flowers dying or you want to give something or get ready for mom. This is something that you could make and sell on Etsy as a custom order, but you can make it for your own mom or your wife or someone that you love or your partner. If you want to memorialize or just really do something cool with a letter, this is a way in a piece of acrylic that you can actually take a letter that someone wrote you and put it down. Maybe something that someone sent you and they're no longer with us. I really like this letter idea. Um, oh, my whole family wears glasses and making really cool glass holders really not only save your glasses, even if they're reading glasses, but it's pretty cool. I can imagine doing some type of... Um, tiki uh, type of heads and stuff like that. My wife, Suzanne, is a really avid reader and making a book thing, uh, a potential book holder is really, a page holder is really, really cool. This is similar to the brush. So if you have, and you, you don't have to, you could probably up this, maybe a eucalyptus um, spoon, but do something cool with the logo or the what it says on it, like some message about cooking. Okay, instead of just a portrait of the family, what about just doing an etch or an engraving of the family and then cutting it out and then putting two little holders similar to what I did for my record stand, which held it up. So uh, dog tags, a lot of people are taking their fiber lasers to a fair and they're just doing these particular keychains or actually dog tags right at that event. Very similar to the cookie holder, but this is actually the rolling pins. I'm sure, sure you've seen those, but you need a rotary attachment. But what are the cool things you could do with that? And I would probably make a video for that and you could probably put any print on that. Very similar to the uh, tumblers and stuff like this. Name holders for weddings. You just go out in the woods, chop a bunch of pieces out or have someone do that and then laser engrave those. And then again, use that walnut oil to kind of seal it up. So if you're making a special treat and you want something to go on the size and you want a, a cool brand, you can get the jars that have the wood tops and laser engrave those. Coming up with your own game or maybe it's a dating game. Maybe it's like, where do we go to dinner or what are we going to talk about at the meal? I think that's something cool you could pull out at the table and you could make, I think those are great for gifts or just make sure you have a custom line item on Etsy where you can do or your, or your own website. Instead of taking a boring wine bottle, take something that has something cool on the front. I'm not saying you should do 50th anniversary, but do something really cool on the front of that wine box holder. The next thing is these little hol these holders where you could just go online to China and pick these up. This is something you'd want to jig for, but bottle openers are just an absolute winner. So with signs for the home, don't think about the back. Think about the cool black flat lettering that you could have up front. And that's something that um, you could only do the letters, but think about putting it on a regular piece of antiqued wood. This is a really cool puzzle co uh, coaster, but I was thinking what else could you do with coasters that, that the four of them go together or six in a unique way? How can you combine those? I thought that was a really cool design problem. Uh, granite, again, granite coasters are just really powerful. You don't even know how they're made. They just look cool. You just have to practice with one and then you'll realize that power that you have. This is the same thing as the treat, the cookies, where you put a lid on top of a cake candle. And if you're making your own candles, you can customize that. If you know someone that is, <clears throat> sorry, allergies. So this is a sign. So what if you stayed at a beach house or you rented someone's house and you made them a quick sign? Maybe you might be invited back. Maybe you might get a discount. It's just something to think about before you go to house. Just kind of think about that little giveaway gift that would need it or just tell your favorite person, um, hey, I can make you a sign for your house. So uh, the books that you would have, that was a passport thing where you would laser engrave your actual passport holder. Having a comb that is, um, I never thought about this, but it's kind of a sweet gift to give someone a little tiny comb with their maybe their vectorized face. Um, I have a tutorial on how to vectorize someone's face, just link down below. This isn't a uh, hammer that I would want, but I really like it if it said something cool. I would just go ahead and again do that walnut oil on top of it. Walnut oil looks anything maple or light look fantastic. Grilling is huge. It's coming up because this is a time to get ready for the grilling season, whether or not you're doing a grill scraper or you're doing this um, flipper. Uh, I think um, switch um, blades are just really cool to hand out for gifts and you can etch the um, scales. The scales are the actual holder part you have, not the metal. 
um, adding a really cool design to a front of someone that's really uh, enjoys drawing and then doing a really cool spiral graph design is something that is just limitless in terms of the ideas. I love coasters. I like to make coasters. I love superheroes. I just think that this is a really good thing that you can you could potentially make anything out of is a regular coaster. You could even cut up pieces of pallets and make the jigs. You got to make jigs that go inside of your laser cutter. These are magnets, very similar, but make magnets and just buy a huge thing of stick on magnets. And then you can put those up at your shop, um, your mobile shop, workshop, or even Etsy. And of course, phones are always, always popular. The cases I, you know, Josh, maybe they're a little too popular, but etching really cool designs, even simple lines and formation like this one is just really awesome. And then think about instead of cutting boards, go ahead and grabbing that recipe idea or doing this conversion. And then now for the inappropriate with Mother's Day coming up, I just thought this was just really funny because, you know, maybe they are little pricks. 